Hi guys, welcome to Grayson's six month update. I cannot believe my little baby is half a year old already. Look at him, he's just so big. Are you a big boy? See, I'm a big boy. Time is just flying by, you guys. So I have some notes written here about um, the past month with Grayson. So we went to the doctor and we had our six month checkup for Grayson and they took his measurements. So he is 26 and a half inches tall, which is in the 43rd percentile. He's 17 pounds and one ounce, which puts him in the 41st percentile for weight. And he's 16.83 inches um, for his head circumference, which is in the 31st percentile. So even though I think he looks like a big boy and he's got rolls and rolls and rolls, he's actually, you know, below the 50th percentile in all of his stats, which really surprised me. Um, but the doctor and nurses, they didn't seem to be concerned about it. They just wanted to make sure like everything was around the same curve, which it is. Also at this appointment, the doctor looked Grayson over. He still is looking awesome. They didn't find any problems with him. Um, he did have to get four shots. Well, really, he had to get three shots. One of them was that drink, um, and he just drank it, and he didn't really care for it. But then he had to get three shots. Um, one of them was the flu shot, because um, if you can't tell by his little outfit, it is October, and so um, people are starting to get the flu shot. So he got the flu shot and then two other vaccines. He did not like the shots, no surprise there. Um, instead of crying and being sad, he actually just got really mad. He did his whole face turning red, stop breathing, because he was so mad. Um, but he got over it pretty quickly, and he seems to be doing just fine. Um, since this is the first time that he got the flu shot, he does have to go back for another one, so we will be going back next month to get another shot. One of the biggest things that has happened to Grayson is he can now sit up on his own. I'll insert a picture and videos here. Got lots to say. So yeah, he just started doing it and we had Grayson do his six month photos because I just wanted to capture, you know, this time in his life. Um, I got newborn pictures done. I wanted to do six month photos and then of course year photos. So we did six month and I really wanted him to be able to sit up on his own so that we could get, you know, some good sitting pictures. And I kid you not, the day before we had the pictures done, he started sitting up on his own. It's like he knew what he needed to do and he just did it. I don't know. I was so happy about it. Um, he's still obviously pretty unstable and he'll fall over all the time, but I do find him sitting up on his own all the time now. I walk into his crib after he's woken up from like his nap and he's just sitting in his crib. So he seems really proud of himself and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. His hair is a little crazy today. If you watch my last video, his five month update, you um, heard me say that Grayson was like days away from crawling. Well, funny enough, he has not crawled yet. It's been a month and he has not crawled. Um, I think the biggest reason for this is because he took a detour from learning to crawl and instead he focused on sitting up. And so now he can go from being on his belly to sitting up and if he sits up and he wants to roll over, he just kind of falls over. <laughs> oh, God bless you. He just falls over. I think because of him wanting to be able to sit up on his own, he kind of took a detour from crawling. And so he has still not been able to crawl yet. He is able to like scoot backwards. Sometimes he can like kind of catapult himself forward and do like a little spring jump. Um, but he's still not crawling yet. He will still get up on all fours and rock back and forth. But no crawling yet. Maybe that'll happen this month. You know, I'm not too sad about it because that just means once he starts crawling that I'm going to have to like baby proof my house. And I'm just not ready for that. So I'm happy where he is. One of the biggest things, probably the biggest thing this month that Grayson has started to do is 
because he is now sleeping through the night. <gasps> I am so happy about it. It just happened overnight. You know, one night he was, you know, he's been getting up just once in the middle of the night uh, for the past couple weeks. And it would be at like 5 a.m. Like he was almost making it through the night. Well, one day he just decides to just sleep all the way through the night. And my body's just not used to that. So, of course, I kept waking up in the middle of the night. Like, is he up? Is he up? And we have a monitor with a video monitor so I can like turn on and look. And every time I looked, he was still sleeping. And then I woke up at like 8.30 when he woke up and I was like, oh my gosh, he slept through the night. I mean, I just feel like a whole new person. It's so nice to be able to sleep. Although I think my body's still not used to it because there will still be times where I will wake up in the middle of the night. I'll be like, is he up, is he up? You know, I'm not used to sleeping that full seven, eight hours. He is an awesome sleeper. He will go to bed at around seven, at 7.30. He is ready for bed and I put him down and he goes to bed real easily now. I just feed him, him a little bit we read a story we get in our pjs and then i put him in his crib and i put a swat on and i say na night and he just rolls over and goes right to sleep sometimes he'll be a little fussy but usually he just goes right to sleep like he is exhausted and then he will just stay asleep until 7 30 8 8 30 in the morning he'll sleep which is just so amazing and i'm so happy i thought i might have to you know like um like night wean him like wean him of the night feedings because i thought maybe he was just doing it just for security or something but no he just needed his stomach to grow a little more and have a little more solid in his belly and he seems happy so for me being um exclusively breastfeeding him i think that's pretty good to be you know him sleeping through the night no formula like just on breastfeeding i think that's pretty awesome um, because I have heard of a lot of people that they're breastfeeding their kid and their kid is still waking up like several times a night. In fact, when we went to the doctor's office and she asked how he was sleeping and I was like, oh, he's sleeping through the night. My doctor said that she has several patients, their kids are waking up every hour, every two hours at night. And I just, I can't even imagine that. So very lucky that he is such a good sleeper and he loves to sleep. He also does take two naps during the day. Usually he'll take one good nap, like a two hour nap, and then he'll take a half hour to an hour nap. Um, and sometimes the first nap is a really good nap and sometimes the second nap is a really good nap. It just kind of depends on his mood, I guess. Um, but usually he does take two naps. I have tried several times to get him to take three naps if he like wakes up from his second nap early, early, but he just will not do it. And he refuses to take three naps. He likes two and that's it. Grayson now responds to his name. So he'll be, you know, looking at something. And if somebody says Grayson or Gray, he will turn <laughs> Just like now, he will turn to his name, um, which I think is pretty special. I don't really know if he knows like, oh, that's my name or just because it's noise and he's responding to it, but I think it's his name. He does respond to it, um, so that's exciting to see. Grayson loves to say ma. He's been saying it for, oh, he started with the mmm sound, and then this month he started with ma, and so he'll say ma, 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 ma. So I'm working with him to try to just say ma, ma. And I think he's very, very close. Sorry, Anthony, he has not even said da or ba or anything. He just says ma. Sometimes he'll say like, hi, but um, he's just with the mm sound right now. And so I think his first word is going to be mama. So I'm very excited about that. And I thought it was interesting. I was reading my what to expect book and it was actually saying that most kids end up saying dada first instead of mama because I guess dada, the duh sound is an easier sound to make or something. So I thought that was interesting. So we started Grayson on vegetables, uh, pureed vegetables this month. Last Last month we started him on cereal he would take oatmeal and barley and do cereal that way and so I wanted to wait until he was at least you know starting the fifth month to really start um, introducing like solid solids like vegetables so that's what we did um, and we've done his first vegetable was green beans and he, you know with it being the first vegetable he was kind of like didn't know what to think it took him a couple days and then he finally like warmed up to it we've also done carrots we've done green peas we've done sweet potatoes um his favorite was definitely the sweet potatoes he ate those no problem his least favorite was definitely the green peas i would have to try to like 
try to get him to eat them and he would only eat like half a packet a day. He did not like them. Here's a video of that. Okay, today we are trying a new food. Today we are trying peas. Looks and smells just as good as the green beans. Are you ready? Okay, are you ready? Happy. Here we go. Let's try it. You want to try peas? You want to try peas? No, don't eat your foot. <laughs> You're silly. It's like a thicker consistency, so I think that's kind of throwing him for a loop. Hmm. I think he likes it. Okay, and now he's eating his foot. Okay. Say bye. So yeah, he did not like the green peas. It was really cute. Um, definitely loved the sweet potatoes though. So next month we're gonna start with um, fruit and we will do um, prunes and bananas and apples and all of that. We just do the Gerber um, packets of pureed vegetables and fruits um, that you just find at the grocery store and I just find those really work well. So yeah, like I talked about earlier, um, I have done six months of breastfeeding Grayson. Um, I have not had to use formula once. Of course, we have been supplementing with like cereal and now um, vegetables, but we have not done formula at all. I don't think that's going to last very much longer. I think I'm going to have to start supplementing with formula just because my supply, I have realized or noticed that has been going down more and more lately. Not really sure why. Um, I do pump a lot rather than nurse, so I think that might cause it. I have done six months exclusively of breastfeeding. That was my goal from the very get-go and I'm happy with that and anything else is just extra um, and I'm okay with having to do formula. Um, I think it takes the pressure off of me. Um, I could do a video if you guys are interested about like breastfeeding and my journey and just the ups and downs because it has not been easy at all. Um, so let me know if you'd be interested in that video. Grayson has two teeth poking through. I'll include a, a picture showing that right here. So yes, he has two teeth, two bottom teeth poking through. His first tooth was the bottom left middle tooth and then right afterwards the bottom right middle tooth started too and now they're just kind of growing at the same rate. So he is starting to grow those teeth. He has bit me a couple times while nursing. Um, that's not fun. And they're coming through really good now. Um, I haven't noticed any other teeth, but I definitely know he is teething because he drools a lot and he Yay. loves his teethers. Yeah, that's exciting to get more teeth and just see him develop. His favorite teether is the banana teether. I'll show you a picture of him using it. So he loves this thing and um, I was looking on Amazon for different teethers to use with him and this was actually like the number one teether on Amazon was this banana teether and it's a banana and it's got like the peels like folded so it's like they could hang like grab onto it and hold it and then um, the end of the banana is like toothbrush bristles and I guess it's supposed to get them used to using a toothbrush so it's like useful as well as a good teether as well and also has like grooves on the other end too that he likes to not on but he just loves that thing we take it everywhere it's super tiny he likes to hold on to it he likes 
the teeth on it. So that's been really um, useful. We also have like key keys on a key ring and they're like gel so we can put it in the fridge and it can get cold and he really seems to like cold things on his gum. Grayson also just really likes to chew on people's hands and fingers. I don't know if he'll do it right now. He's looking around. Oh, yep, there he goes. He just, he'll, fingers are his favorite um, now that he's got the two teeth poking through, it kind of hurts when he does teeth on my hand. Yeah, but it, yeah, he does like people's hands. And he'll even get my leg or my knee sometimes. Grayson still absolutely loves nursery rhymes. If he is upset or in a bad mood, I know that if I start singing to him, he will instantly calm down. Um, definitely his two favorite nursery rhymes right now are... Um, if you're happy and you know it, I think he loves seeing the hand clap and the feet stomp. And then he also loves if all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops. Um, kind of forgot about that song until I was playing like a Barney video for him and they started singing it. And I was like, oh, I remember that song. And now every time I sing it for him, he absolutely loves it. He, a big smile comes on his face every time he hears it. Goodness. He's kind of got a little cold right now. So that's why he's coughing. But yeah, he absolutely loves those songs. He loves, you know, Twinkle Twinkle and all those nursery rhymes as well. He just loves it when I sing to him um, and he's pretty happy that way. This past month, we visited the University of Cincinnati for the, well, for Grayson's first time. If you don't know, Anthony and I uh, both went to the University of Cincinnati for college and so we love that school. And my sister currently goes to that school. So Grayson and I went and visited her this past month and I got to show Grayson the campus for the first time, which was really fun. And it's so crazy to see like, Anthony and I haven't gone to college for like two or three years maybe. Um, yeah, three years, and it's crazy to see, really? <laughs> it's crazy to see, like, how much campus has changed, um, just in a couple years, and all the new buildings, and the new construction, but it was really fun to take him around, I just brought the stroller, um, it's also really interesting to see, like, oh, you have to go, like, different ways now that you have a stroller, like, when it was just me, I could just walk everywhere, and go over the grass, and hills, and things, but it's a little different when you have a stroller, so, but it was really fun visiting my sister. Um, we're in Columbus, so it really wasn't that hard of a drive, just about two hours. Grayson still loves um, chewing on his toes. He's still very flexible, and he can do it himself, um, and he also loves sucking on his two middle fingers. He is still not changed to his thumb. I don't know if he will be a thumb sucker ever, or if he will just do his two middle fingers. I think it's adorable how he does his two middle fingers. I think it's really cute. I hope he keeps that well for a little bit and then you know they say not they shouldn't be doing it you know eventually because of um it'll like mess up how their teeth come in and stuff but i think for now he's okay um but he still does not like pacifiers i give him a pacifier here and there and he'll just like chew on the rim of it <laughs> he won't even suck on it grayson loves going on walks um it's a little colder now now that we're in like late october but it's this year it's been like unseasonably warm all the way up until like mid-october and so um, we've gone on a lot of walks, which he loves. And just recently I've started to notice that he will like um, look up in the trees and look up at the leaves above him and look up at the sky. <laughs> He's chewing on his feet right now. And um, he just notices more things, which I think is really cute. Um, Grayson also just loves to be outside. Well, we have a porch, front porch swing, and he loves to just sit on that with me. He also just loves being out in the public. He likes to people watch, which I love to people watch too. Um, and so he likes to talk to people, look at people, flirt. <laughs> so he loves it, which I think is really cute. Grayson absolutely loves animals. We have animal books where he looks at all the farm animals, and he loves it when I make, you know, the sounds of the cow and and the monkey and dogs and cats he just loves hearing that we have a cat a black cat named Felix and Grayson is obsessed with the cat but the cat does not like Felix just because obviously Grayson is a baby and so he will like reach out to grab the cat and he'll like grab like a fistful of fur and pull on it so obviously the cat doesn't like that so the cat so the cat stays away from Grayson um, but Grayson also loves dogs my parents have a mini labradoodle <laughs> yes he still loves to bounce too 
Um, my parents have a mini Labradoodle and she and Grayson are like best friends and they love playing with each other. They have similar toys and so they like to share each other's toys and um, they're just really good friends. Here's a picture of them two together. Anthony's parents have a standard poodle and so Grayson likes that dog too. It's a little big for him now because he's just a baby, but he still loves watching dogs. Um, anytime Grayson's upset, if I can just get Felix in his field of vision, then Grayson's happy because he'll just zone out looking at the cat. So that's always a plus. Something, blah, blah, blah. Something new um, this week month is Grayson has started to actually like want to cuddle a little bit which if you've watched my previous videos you'd see that he's really has never been a cuddler um I don't know if that's just like a boy thing or his personality but he's always just wanted to be on the move and not like sitting still obviously you can see in this video he's just moving 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 and so he's never really been a cuddler which is kind of sad like I, I like to cuddle but that's okay um and just recently I've been able to actually like wear him on my or not wear him but like hold him on my hip and so he's able to like nestle himself into my like shoulder and it's really cute like it, he's actually wanting to like cuddle with me now um obviously just for a minute or two but it's better than nothing which was what I was getting um so that's been new and really exciting for me to see but I think that's about it this video is already long as is so this is Grayson at six months he's so happy he's a happy boy a smiley boy he loves to bounce he loves his bouncer <laughs> he likes um he's not really laughing yet um just kind of like giggles here and there but no belly laughs and very close to saying his first word so Grayson can you say bye bye say bye bye say bye bye <laughs> Um, I'm actually surprised he was able to stick out the whole video. That's actually pretty good for him. So stay tuned for my next video and make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this. So bye guys.